Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara. I don't really know how to start this one off. I know I always say I don't really know how to start the videos off and stuff, but this one in particular, it's a bit of a grim, <laughs> a grim opening. I lost my grandparents in the last kind of four years. I lost my grand four years ago and my granddad two years come April. There's a reason I'm telling you this, okay? So, my grand and granda, big influence on everything I do, my grand and granda. But, <laughs> so my grand and granda had a sports shop. They had a sports shop in a place called Butlins, which was a caravan site, like a holiday park. And they sold like football scarves and all that sort of stuff. And they also, they also had the sports shop in the Magnum. The Magnum was a sports center. At one point it was Europe's largest leisure center. A lot of bands played there, like, uh, uh, this is a bit of a sidetrack, but like Finn Lizzy, The Jam, The Clash, The Fall, The Smiths, Chuck Berry, like, they all played in the Magnum, they played in the main hall at the Magnum, so it was like a big, big deal back in the day, but my granny and granda had the shop there. They were also, um, what's the nice, what's a nice way to say this? Bootleggers, they were boot, <laughs> they were bootleggers, what they'd done was they would um, make, like pencils and key rings and wallets and purses and stuff and they would print the names of like football teams and bands and stuff on them and then sell them, that's, that's what they done. Like, I remember when I was a wee boy drawing pictures in my gran's house uh, with a pencil and asking my gran who are new kids on the block. <laughs> so they would like emboss all these different things on like merch and on like bits and bobs and things and then sell them in the shop, right? So, aye, they were... They sold hooky stuff. Unofficial, unofficial merchandise is what they sold. That's what they done, right? Now, when we were clearing out my granda's house, my granda was a bit of a hoarder, which is probably where I get it from. Like, I keep stuff. <laughs> like, even yesterday, I had a plug, one of the American plug sockets with the two, and I was about to put it in the bin, and I was like, ah, you never know. That's where I get it from, my hoarding problem. But when we were clearing out his huts, he had three huts full of stuff, we found this. Now, this is the letters that they used to use on the pencils and the key rings and stuff. Like, these are the, the block letters. So, there are loads of them here, all different fonts, all different styles and stuff. And I thought, I'll make a, I could make a font using this, uh, and I can use it in my videos and use it in, like, the stuff that I make and things, and then it's my gran and granda's stuff. That's what I'm going to do. I don't really know how to do it. Right, I have a rough idea how to make a font. I'm going to try and make a font, essentially, using my gran and granda's bootlegging letters. <laughs> so. This is how I think I'm going to do it. I made a coffee before I started, I didn't, but I, I drank a black. I thought I'll do my intro and then this will cool down enough to drink. And it hasn't. So, cutting the grass. So, so. This is how I think I'll do it, okay? I'm, my spelling is atrocious, so I'm about to out myself as how bad my English is. But I'll use some of the inks, the calligraphy inks that I've got from another video, and what I'll do is I'll use that to print, like so dip it in the inks, I don't even know why I wrote that up. And I'm gonna get a uh, waterproof, waterproof? Watercolour paper, and I'll find all the letters that I like, and I'll individually print them. I don't want this to look perfect. I want it to look kind of grungy and handmade. Like, I'm not looking for perfection in anything that I do. So, number one, I will use the inks to print letters. So, step two, what I'll do is I'll, I'll photograph the letters so that I can then import them into my my computer so I can use them use Adobe Illustrator. Number three, I hope I've only got five steps because I'm about to run out of space. Number three, once I take it into Adobe Illustrator I'm going to live trace them. Yesterday when I was eating my lunch I watched loads of YouTube videos about how to make a font, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to 
photograph the letters, import them into Illustrator and format them using Live Trace. Now Live Trace just will take, like a, there's loads of settings for it, it will just take us, you can import a picture or import like a line drawing, hit Live Trace and what it does is it automatically turns it into a vector. My, my knowledge of graphic design and stuff is just limited by what I've learned off the internet, but a vector is a drawing that you can scale up to any size, so that's what we'll use for the font so that when I'm, it'll be smaller, big and I won't lose quality, hopefully. Never done this before, so I'm learning as I'm filming. So Live Trace. I don't need to format them all and all that sort of stuff, but I'll do that when I'm in there. There's loads of stuff that I found on YouTube that I can use to make a font and format a font and all that sort of stuff, but it costs money, like, and I'm only doing this once as far as I'm aware, like, I'm not going to get into making fonts all the time, I'm just making one for myself, so I'm trying to find a free way to do it, so... Font Forge was one of the things that i seen, but I haven't checked to see if it's uh, available for Mac, for OS X, so I'll need to figure that out, and if not, I'll need to find another way to do it. It, is, it will be possible, there's no way that I need to spend money to make this happen. And I'm not spending £29 to make one font. Well, I'm not doing that. There'll be a way to figure it out to make it happen for free. Maybe a bit pernickety. <laughs> But there will be a way to do it. That might be getting used, might not be getting used. It depends on whether I can, whether it works for OS X. And then after that, that's it done, I think. That's it finished. I've got it. Oh, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll import it. Import? Import it into Procreate and Photoshop, Premiere and all the stuff, all the other things I use to make um, graphics and stuff for, for the video and then that'll be it um, and I'm going to call it bootlegger I'm going to call it the bootlegger font and that's it that's it so so I'm going to go through and, and get started and start making making it India ink I'll use that to print the letters cool got my Got my inks, got my letters, so I'm going to go and set up and start doing the printing. I don't have a table yet. Table's coming eventually when I get the money. Yeah, that looks, that looks better. That one. Right, so I filmed that on the GoPro. I'm going to use the cam that camera there to film, to not to film, to take photographs of this. So I'm going to switch over now. So, take my wide angle lens off. That's my wide angle lens. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Fiver, five spot. Got a fish eye as well. Right, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to get in close and take some photographs. Right, so I've uploaded them all to my Google Drive and then I downloaded everything. I can then import it into Illustrator. The file that I'm using, the template file I'm using, is by one of the YouTube videos I've seen, AMI19, uh, and I just downloaded their one. And I've also had a look and found font folds for, the, for Mac. So I haven't had a go of it yet, but I'll try this and see how it goes on first. Here's all my images. In hindsight, I probably should have um, focused them in a bit more, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'll have a wee kind of, I'll have a mess about with the, the image trace and just see how we get on and if it works great. If not, I could have set, I could have set it all up a bit better, like to take more kind of care when I was putting the, putting the, the picture together, but. I kind of want it to look kind of grungy anyway, so so up here, if I click on this image, I can go to image trace, and I can, I'm going to just kind of mess about with these. So this can be quite process heavy, so like, so I'll, there'll be lots of jump cuts. Let's try 16 colours, 
it's actually okay. So what I'll do is, if I hit this little expand button, this will create this all as paths. I think, I don't I don't know how to put the right word or terminology is for this sort of stuff. This has now been vectorized, so you can see it's took all the wee bits and turned it into uh, shapes. So I'll quite like the way that looks. So I'll take all of this, like I like that. I like the fact there's another wee kind of dot here, and dot here, and dot here. Take that dot as well, and I'll just hit Command C, and I'm just going to copy it into my template, like that. Now, if I zoom out, I can just resize it until it fits in. So if I take these wee dots, and I'll move them in. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to show you me doing this with every letter because, well, that'll take forever. And who would watch that? I mean, I certainly wouldn't watch it, and I'll watch anything. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to group it all. So group, and then uh, I'll make it all the one color. So I'll make the whole thing, the whole thing black. I'm going to get rid of the stroke like that. Okay, so I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through this. I'm not going to show you me doing it, doing it all, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill absolutely every single one of these. Then I'm going to have a go with the, the font forge thing and see what it looks like. I don't know. I'll keep recording the screen. I might time lapse it, show you how much work it was. That took two hours and two minutes to do all those letters. So, <laughs> I'll do the rest another day. Like, I'll go in, like, I'll go away and I'll come back and format the actual font another day because, because it's a Friday and I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here doing this. Catch you. See you um, Monday. Now it's Wednesday. I did come back in on Monday and start working on it. I was trying to make it look like I'd left for the weekend and came back to work on it. I was trying to be too clever, right? So that's me back. Right, uh, that was... Uh, uh, good morning. So it's Monday now. It was all over the place trying to do this, right? So maybe the £29 <laughs> would have been a good thing to spend. So basically, what I done was I got a like a script. There was a link in the description of the YouTube video that I used, um, and what I done was I ran the script so that I could export all the images individually as SVG files, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, I think, and that's the type of file that I had to use to then turn it into a font. So I ran the script, got all my images, so A, like your capital A, your small A, and and I had them all formatted out and put into a into a folder. I tried Font Forge and I could not get it to work. Again, on Google, had a research and couldn't find any way to fix it. Loads of people kind of saying the same thing for Mac. I found a thing called Glifter, which is a browser-based font maker. And all I done was drag and drop the SVG files in where I wanted them and hit export. And then, then it worked. I'm nervous, actually nervous. Right, bootlegger, bootlegger. Here we go, T R A. <laughs> ah, what? Ah, there's no apostrophe. Right, okay, T O H E R A. There's no apostrophe, but let's have a wee kind of mess about with the letters. Right, okay, that looks okay, man. Right, obviously, what I would do is I would have a mess about with the the way the letters sit and stuff. So see if I come over here, uh, I can move them closer together like that so there's not as much space between them. Do you know what? I actually quite like the fact that that's ridiculous looking. <laughs> I actually quite like that. So I do. But you know what? See for a first attempt at making a font, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> it's, it's totally insane. <laughs> Look at that. I can't believe it worked. I'm ha I'm happy with that. I'm happy. With that. I'm ha I'm ha I'm happy with that. 
a few things I would do different. Like not try to film something first thing on a Monday morning after having a weekend off. That was a stupid idea. <laughs> that whole outro I filmed as well didn't work. So this is my new outro that I'm filming on Wednesday. At least I get to use my five pound fish eye. As you can tell by my, my giggles and laughs, I, I'm actually, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I'm, I've used it in my new, I made a new channel app, like a new, um, even now I still don't know what I'm doing. Um, I made a new channel app for my, for my YouTube, for the banner. So, like, and I used that font in it, there it is there, see? So I'm quite, I'm happy, I'm happy with the way it turned out, like I don't think I'll be making any fonts anytime soon, but now I've got one and it's, I'm, I'm going to use it, so I'll start using that in my videos and stuff. This is the way I like to work, like I like to come out with an idea, don't know what, like, and figure out as I go and film it, so I, I'm going to make more stuff like this because I quite enjoy it, but I'm also going to start making some stuff about music, like when I'm, like, recording music again, because I haven't done it for, when was the last album, 2017, 16, five, four years? I don't know, I haven't done it for a while, so I think I'm going to start making mu making videos about making music, but, for, like, filming the whole process, uh, and I won't try and be as clever about it, so, I, like, it's a coherent, <laughs> it's a coherent thing. So yeah, that's it. What I might do, though, is make a video about coming up with an outro, so I actually do it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'll be making more stuff like this. You can get me on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. You can get me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Mr. Tragic O'Hara. That's it. Thank you. There's no camera in here, so it's actually this is it finished. It's actually done. switch the camera off. <laughs>